Hello, so this is uh, the FET simulation or the simulation for projectile motion under FET Colorado da, uh, that edu. So, ang gagawin niya dito ay imamanipulate niyo ito in order for you to accomplish the laboratory activities na kailangan natin for today. So, ano yung gagawin natin? So, you can manipulate different objects here. So, pwede mong mamanipulate yung cannonball depende kung saan siya papunta ang angle niya ay mag-change. Eh, you can also manipulate the initial speed here from 0 to 30 meters per second. And then, uh, meron kang eraser. So, kapag nag-launch ka ng projectile mo at 30 meters per second, di na bumalik. <laughs> Ayun. And then, binago mo yung launch angle. Wala. Sorry. Ayan. And then, if you check the speed. Oops. And then, ayoko na makita yon. You can use the eraser tool. Okay. Or you can also use the normal and the slow-mo. Okay. So, yan yung normal na speed niya. Ah, sorry. The slow speed and the normal speed. Okay. So, binabantayan lang nito yan. Baka mawala yung cannonball. Okay, so ang gagawin ninyo, di ba meron sa baba nung intro vectors, drag, and lab, dun kayo sa lab pupunta. And you're gonna follow the uh, different settings wherein you have a mass of 1 kilogram, a diameter of 0.67 meters, and the gravity which is 9.81 meters per second. So ito hindi nyo na kailangan i-change. And then you have two tools here, meron ka nito, wherein kapag nilagay mo siya sa point kung saan, ah... Uh, Ayan. Depende sa iyong parabolic path, pwede mong mahanap yung kanyang time para marating yung range na yon at yung kanyang specific height. So, for this one, hanapin natin yung highest uh, point. So, maximum height, 14.2 sa gitna. Tingnan natin kung yan talaga yung highest by looking at the points. Kapag nag-yellow, dun mo na siya ipo-point. So, 14.15 sa kabila ay 14.15. So, yung pinakamataas na height niya will be here. So, this one. 14.2. Alright. So, ano yung time para ma-reach niya yung position niya? So, that 14.2 is actually 11.47 meters away from the cannonball. So, uh, para ma-reach niya yung position na yan, it took it, the cannonball 1.7 seconds. So, punta tayo sa pinakababa. So, the height here is, bakit 0 0.4? Okay. So, 0 meters. The height here is 0 meters. But in order for the cannonball to, to reach this height, uh, the range is actually 22.94 meters. And the time it took for the whole flight, is 3.4 seconds. So, yan yung gagamitin ninyo in order for you to find the different uh, distances within the parabolic path. So, sa activity, meron akong ibibigay na distance. Hahanapin nyo lang gamit ito. And then, identify the time of fly, flight and the velocity. So, balikan ninyo yung konsepto. Ano ba yung nangyayari sa velocity ng object? And you can also... Um, uh, ang gagawin natin dito is you compute the velocity, the, the horizontal velocity using the distance, okay? The distance measured at a particular time for the whole. Uh, so, dapat isang parabolic path lang yung meron kayo. And then, of course, for your discussion, you discuss your results and then answer the guide questions para doon sa inyong... Uh, sa inyong lab report. Okay, so yun yung gagawin natin. So, una, you have to answer what are the velocity and acceleration of the projectile at the highest point. So, ito yung isasama nyo sa inyong discussion. So, ikocompute nyo siya, yung velocity and acceleration of the projectile at the highest point and also calculate the velocity of the ball before it hits the ground. So, Ano yung velocity daw ng bola bago siya dumating doon, yung mag-stop dyan sa ground na yan? Ano yung pinaka-velocity na? So, that will be your final velocity. So, tatandaan ulit natin, uh, balikan natin yung sample problem na binigay given your equation. Paano mo compute yung final velocity as it hit that, 
hits the ground. So I'll let again, uh, you um cut the the motion. So maga ma ang makukuha nyo dapat will be from the uh, maximum height. Yung final velocity, uh, initial velocity nya will be from the maximum height, then going downward. Dun yung final velocity. And then, calculate the velocity of the ball just before it hits. Uh, yun na pala yun. Just before it hits the ground. And then, study the effect of resistance on the range and write down your conclusion. So, yun yung pinaka-discussion ninyo. And your conclusion will be number 10. Okay? So, ayun po yung gagawin natin for today. So, you are going to select a partner to... um for this activity. So, if you have any question, you can message me. Goodbye and have a nice day.